Hello and welcome back to Tours and Tournaments. Today we're looking to do a legendary hunt, and we don't have a lot of time left in which to do more of them. Now, we have two potential paths forward of our legendary hunt. The first one is that we do as many hunts in the time remaining as possible. Now, uh, it's 18 months till our next hunt, which is just a little bit under uh, two years. So let's say we do that. Uh, let's say it is two years. So we do our next hunt on, uh, like, in 1448. Uh, we do the next one in 1450 and the next one in 1452. Uh, it doesn't leave us an awful lot of time, but we could fit in three hunts in that time. Okay, that's not too bad. Right? That's possible. I mean, our success chance has been sitting, what, around 60%? Three shots at a 60% roll? That seems possible, especially as we're increasing hunter experience with all of our court each time we do a hunt. So it seems potentially good. However, there are other things that we could do. Um, one thing that someone has mentioned in the comments is that if you have more hunters on the hunt, for each hunter that you have in the hunt, you are going to have a chance of triggering the event where hunters share experience. Now, the cool thing about the hunters share experience event is that it raises the hunt success chance by a little bit. So if you have a lot of hunters, you can raise that success chance quite a lot in very, very small increments, which is worth thinking about. The problem is, if we invite anyone who isn't in our court, we raise the time between hunts to more than two years. So we potentially lose a hunt by doing that. So the question that we have to ask ourselves is, do we have more than a 60% chance um, of successfully doing a hunt if we um, do it? And how much more is it, right? Like, is it 80%? Is it? Um, one sixty percent and one eighty percent better than three sixty percent. There's probably a mathematically correct answer to this, but I'm not sure. But basically, that's the kind of thing we're working with right now. I think I'm on the side of just continuing of the hunts the way we've been doing them because the hunts that we've been doing, um, we have actually been getting quite close to succeeding, and we've also been raising everyone in our court's hunter level. But it's just something to think about just going forward. Um, it's I've also been told that you can invite individual people's uh, individual people to hunt if you um, right click on the character. So what we could potentially do is we could create um, character searches that are very specific. Like let me create one now. Like we could say I'm only looking for people who are culture rooter and are a hunter, right? And then we'd get a bunch of people who are probably quite close to us. Like this person is in, uh, I don't know where that is off the top of my head, but yeah, it's over here. Right, so this person's in England, right? We could, in theory, invite this person along to the hunt. They have the hunter trait. They wouldn't necessarily be included in our search. However, it won't take them very long to get to the location. It's that sort of thing that we need to look at and go, oh yeah. I could invite them. Now, maybe that's worth it. Maybe it's worth spending the time to have a look at it. And that's something that we can think about when we get to that point. You can also invite over the um, 20 character limit per um, activity if you invite them after the initial step. So if you individually invite, you can go higher than the limit. Which is interesting because if we have more people, then in theory, we're then going to have a higher success chance thanks to the Hunter Shearer's experience event. It's just a thought. Anyway, uh, other things that have happened. Uh, between episodes, I have gone and married off a bunch of our court. And nearly all of our court is um, like guests right now. Like a huge chunk of it is guests, so I couldn't marry them off unless I wanted to recruit them all, which I felt was... A little unnecessary for us because they'd either marry themselves off, leave our court, or similar. Um, but yeah, I've married off everybody who is actually staying in our court and isn't a monk as well. Um, and I've also ticked away a bunch of artifacts. We had another 117 artifacts which needed to look at, which I've now uh, removed the notification for. So I think we're good to unpause and let all, everything pop up. And then maybe we'll do a time skip. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see what we got here. 
I could also, in theory, host a feast in the time remaining. I mean, there's probably no reason not to host a little feast. Uh, just because we can host one in zero time, basically. So, uh, it might allow us to get a little bit extra in the trait. Do we even have Ego Reveler? I don't think we even have Ego Reveler yet. So, yeah, maybe it'd be worth uh, increasing that a little bit. Yeah. Let's do that. Right. Oh, Dynasty Bastard Legitimized. That's interesting. Why was he legitimized? Oh, to give an heir, to give a second heir, I guess. Okay. We can hold court. Okay. A uh, child with two mothers. We'll do the Solomon test on them. Sure. Right. Um. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Offensive monument. We can build a different monument instead of one symbolizing something, but like it doesn't fit on the page. Okay. We increase cultural acceptance there and then we displease pe uh, peasants. Oh well, I'll displease the peasants. I don't care. Right. Uh, yeah, there was also a question in the comments, by the way. How do you make the game run well when you're this far into the game? Uh, well, one, it's definitely not what I would call running well. But, like, how do you make it, like, progress day-to-day -day at a reasonable pace? The answer is very simple. What you do is you put in a very powerful CPU. And that's about it, right? Uh, ooh, what's this? As days pass, I hear nothing about the white wolf and I grow restless. Surely someone must have seen it. What about all the peasants who litter the highlands? Maybe I should appeal for their assistance. I could send Svon Hilder, Um, Who gains distracted for three years. Or will not sink that low. I will send a missive. Okay. But yeah, essentially, I, I believe that the game is basically um, like CPU limited, right? Like... Your CPU determines how quickly the game goes, so that's effectively the answer. Is you just throw throw more power at it. It. I would love to tell you I have some amazing secret about making the game run quicker. Like you know, if you just turn on these settings, the game will fly. Yeah, not really. Uh, although actually, I do think I'm slowing it down slightly because um, I'm recording while I do this, which actually uses a little bit of the CPUs. But anyway, basically that's it. Um, it's the same kind of problem you have in something like uh, Stellaris, where I had a Stellaris series where the end game it just slows down so much that it's yeah it's unplayable at certain points. So yeah, there's there's no great solution. Um, I think that yeah, CK two is slightly better on at that, but that's more be oh we've got a death event that's not good, uh, but CK two basically uh, is a lot more vicious about killing your characters. Like, not specifically your characters, but like just um, characters in general. So there's less character, um, like, you bloat. So if we, by that I'm meaning, if we go into find characters and we reset to defaults, right? I would bet you, maybe I'm wrong, but I bet you this number is a lot lower at the start of the game than the end of the game. Um, CK2 is, a much, is much better at keeping them more level. It still has the same problems, but you know. Uh, there's a lot more things like a Black Plague will come by every now and again just to wipe out, you know, half of the uh, population of every court, which helps out. Um, I think they hinted that they were going to add something like that in a future DLC, but uh, I don't know the details currently. But it'd be interesting. Yeah, something to add a little bit of uh, spice to the game as you move through it. Uh, right. Let's host a feast now. I think I've, uh, you know, talked about nothing for long enough. Let's hold a little feast. So, feast. Uh, we want to do this in Holland so we don't have to travel. We want to do this with as much as possible. Uh, and then we want to do this with no goal. It really, we want to untick everything. Invite nobody and then invite courtiers, right? Yeah, we can invite courtiers and court guests. Everyone should have zero travel days, which they do. Wonderful. Right, let's do that. Uh, go. Seems good to me. Also allows us to train our knights, which gets us more prowess, which means the knights might be better during the hunts. I mean, it's kind of an odd connection, but it is true. And the lowering artifact decay means there'll be less artifacts that need looked at before the end of the game. So, all of that's pretty good stuff. 
Right, uh, when is our feast? Seven months till it begins, really? Uh, are we waiting on somebody or does it just have a seven month timer? Arrived, 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 arrived. Everyone's arrived, it should begin then, right? Maybe not? I don't know. Well, I mean, I'm happy to wait seven months if we have to wait seven months, but whatever. We'll wait. Suppose if I was really wanting to invite more people, I could go around to all the local ones and just say, yeah, hey, why don't you come over? It's in seven months. You know, it starts in seven months, but yeah. No real point in doing that right now. Uh, hunt is still a while away, right? Yeah, 12 months away. So we should be able to hold the hunt directly after this, which will be fantastic. Okay, so... I, I'm actually getting to the point, I just realized, where I need to check what a what month in 1453 the game ends. I also can't remember, because I think I've only done it once. I actually don't even know if I've done it once in this one. Kind of questioning myself. But I can't remember whether um, you get to look around the map after the game ends, or whether it just gives you the game over screen and that's it. I kind of think it might just give you the game over screen, in which case I'll need to create a backup save at some point. But that's just for my thoughts. That's just me thinking out loud. A backup save which would then allow us to have somewhere that we could go back to to have a look at everything. Um, one thing I also want to have a look at while I'm thinking about looking at things. Uh, 2464. I think that means we're one more than we were before. Yeah, so we've converted some more bits and pieces. You can have a look at how that looks now. Up here is actually almost clear. It's just um, India, which we conquered last, which is uh, the major holdout, which would make sense. It's high development, and we conquered it, like, way later than everything else. So, all makes sense. In fact, I was just thinking, the bits of India that we have converted are the bits that we uh, conquered first. Which, again, just, you know... Very much common sense. Hey, populace have disbanded. How many factions do we have? Oh, hardly any. We're, we're down to five factions. That's not bad. Yeah, that's, that's very reasonable. Very, very reasonable. Looking at five months till it begins. We are how many months off that one? Eleven months. Cool. Cool. Right, well, I might join you at the start of the feast. Okay, so you join me again. We're about 10 days out from the feast. Yep, pretty much exactly. And we're about to get a bunch of feast events, which we can have a look at. Uh, we're basically aiming to get some eager reveler stuff here. I don't know how it's going to help us, but I'm basically just hoping that more stats means better chances, just in general. Um, I think there is a chance that we can maybe gain a stewardship experience here, so we'll see what we can do. Uh, let's get household efforts for direct vassal opinion. That's nice. Okay. Oh, the feast is at yeah is is now fully in here. Uh, one of these needs glory. Do these all give the same amount? Yeah, they all give a uh, one hundred glory boost. Okay. Um, I want this one right because I want the one that increases heavy calf. Yeah. So we're going greatest knight of Frisia if we can. Yeah. So we want that one. Perfect. Right, boost it up. I mean, we're still a little bit away, right? Ooh, it is close, though. Much we at? It needs uh, 2,100, and we're at 2,040. Okay, that's not bad. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. Right. Did I lemma? Uh, we can go for a friendship, or we cannot. All right, I'll go for a friendship. We made a friend. Wonderful. That makes a lot of sense for us, instead of doing a rivalry, which where someone might try and kill us. Um, I think we'll take the opinion boost for people who are here, which are people in my court, which is generally good for them not to want to kill you. And the feast is... oh, not quite over. Um, okay, I'm just going to get Benevolent Ruler here, which gives us direct vassal opinion. We'll get another one of those. Final toast is in full swing, which doesn't really do anything. Just another chance for some events to happen. Oh, we uh, County of Holland gains leftover feast. What does that do? Hmm, I don't know. What does that do? Uh, what is leftover feast? This one? 
That's Great Banquet. Oh, it gives you five popular opinion. Oh, nice. And then Great Banquet gives you a little bit more. Wonderful. Uh, we haven't looked at development in a while. Wow, so these ones are pretty much maxed out as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. A lot of this is stuff that we worked on. Yeah, Iceland is pretty much maxed out. I think they, they also had a lot of buildings built in it. In fact, pretty much everything that we've touched over here is like maxed, maxed out. And then when you get to areas that we did not interact with, they aren't, basically. Low durability. Do not care. That's fine. Right. Um, I was going to see if anywhere over here looked like it was changing at all, but not really. No. It's all pretty set. Although, yeah, India as well is pretty high in development, as is this land. So, yeah, there are bits of land that just are more naturally developed. But if we look down here at Africa, like some of this land is really high development. And I suspect that's because we invested a lot in it at one point by taking the land and investing in the rulers. Um, so, yeah. It's just kind of cool. Cool to look at. Right, uh, we got one marshal. How long till we can do the hunt? Do the hunt in three months. Okay. That's not too bad. We have lost our cultural emissary. Cupid's arrow. Uh, my kinsman, uh, Neuter, has been looking crestfallen for over a week now. It's the fifth heavy, despondent sigh of the day that finally gets me to gently inquire as to the issue. I'm so lonely. All I want is a special someone. Someone to stand by my side at day and share my bed at night. He pauses and shakes his head sadly. What am I saying? You don't understand my plight, do you, my lady? Look at you. You're so attractive and built like a statue to boot. None of this has ever been a problem for you, has it? And say so you're right, it hasn't. In which case he's very unhappy. I will help you, but don't give up hope. Sure, I'll help you. What does this... This means that I, uh, this event is from friends and foes. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen that before, as in like one of these... The event comes from this pack. But... Okay, cool. A target. You'll do that, my lady. You'll really help me. I recall Nitter's face lighting up as I agreed somewhat wearily to help him find love. I'm not exactly the most well-versed in playing matchmaker, though, and it's more with hope than certainty that I step forth into the milling crowds in Amsterdam to seek out a potential flame. I scan the market square, taking in several likely candidates. But for Nitter's sake, I really should be looking for someone who suits them. Somebody... Uh, look at these. These all look like virtuous things. Caring and sensitive. Oh no, devout and fervent. There we go. Striking home. As I continue my search, a figure catches my eye. She's listening intently to her preacher, haranguing the crowd. Sounds like the ravings of a lunatic to me, but the listener's eyes burn bright with fervor and she nods enthusiastically along with the religious rambling. It only takes an invitation to my court and the promise of a suitor to get the flattered and excited woman Elizabeth, as her name was revealed to be, in tow. Triumphantly bursting through the doors, I spot Nutter engaged in his usual listless uh, moping on the other side of court. Nutter turns to me uh, expectantly, eyes shining, hopefully. So I say, come here, chance of getting a friendship, she joins my court, becomes his lover, potentially, or perhaps you prefer foregoing that meeting. Sure, there's a 95% chance they hit it off. They hit it off. Wonderful. And I made a new friend. Right, uh, got distracted. Cultural emissary? <laughs> Let's put in this guy. Let me just check something. My cultural emissary to promote cu understanding between different cultures is my culture. I just find that very funny. It's like, hmm, who are we going to put in charge of our... Uh, outreach program to different cultures. Someone who can really understand different people. Ah, how about somebody who has the exact same culture as me? Ah, yes, that will do. Yes, that, that sounds like that'll work. I'm just waiting for the thing. There we go. Uh, Golden aplomb. Monthly income per stress level, 10%, which is otherwise known as zero, because we have no stress, and we are actually physically incapable of being stressed. Our character just has a um, like, has so many anti-stress gain things that they just physically cannot gain stress. Which is pretty good. Well, I mean, can't gain stress unless it's, like, insanely stressful. 35 days. I want to basically host this on the first day it's available, so... We'll try and pay attention. Uh, that's fine. 20 payments I could demand. Was I feeling so inclined? 
what we at? 21 days. 19 days. We're getting there. Okay. Let's see. Oh, pause. Okay. There we go. Converted from Welsh to Sardinian. Okay. 13 days. 12, 11, 10, 9. So we're kind of looking for the uh, 15th, I think. There we go. Wait a couple of days. New populists. There was one new populist in a time skip we did, but uh, that's all right. Don't need to worry about them. Legendary hunt. Now, the other worrying thing is if any of these say that they are recently held hunts. This one does not. So we're good to go in Kreef. Okay. So Kreef. We invite the max amount of people. Uh, we go max amount of party size. Guests. We lower all of this. Alright. We take away everybody. We invite court. Uh, not court hunters. We invite our knights. Who should all be hunters of a various like of various degrees they all pretty much have the same travel time minus for rook who for some and uh albrecht oh and emperor gills who are apparently very slow that's fine uh we are going to slay the beast and we're gonna go is this right i think this is fine yes start hunt now, what we can do, in theory, is I can go to my character finder. I can look for hunters who are, let's say, my culture. And I can go, well, you are you look like you're close. And then find somebody and invite them. Uh, although we have a bunch who aren't close as well. That's the problem. I need a better thing to sort. How do I get them closer? Um, direct vassals? No, it's only going to give us actual direct vassals. Like White Russ. Oh, you're a hunter, apparently. So we can invite this person. Yeah, so I can invite him to the activity. 5% chance of accepting. Why? He's in poor health. Okay, I'm going to invite him anyway. What about his children? Uh, not a hunter. Uh, not a hunter. 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 Okay. What about over here? Are you a hunter? Nope. Nope. Uh, how about Scot Scotland? Because that's actually where we're hosting the thing. So you were a hunter. So we could invite this guy, and it's within his own domain... Oh, we can you only do one invite at once? Uh, let's wait and see. I just want to see whether this guy says yes or no. Refuse my invitation. Okay, so does that mean... Oh, you're already traveling, I see. You're traveling towards Gary, but where are you? Oh. You're most of the way there. Uh, where are we? On our travel plan. We're right behind them. We may overtake him. I don't know if I'm going to invite anyone else, but let's just see. I've lost my royal architect and my cultural emissary. And my steward. Okay, well, we're going to put in Wales there. Uh, next step. Cultural emissary is going to be you. Not router. Hey, at least that's an improvement. Uh, royal architect is going to be my husband. We're going to get rid of that one. And we're going to carry on. Right, he's working his way up here. We should be able to invite him once he gets back because he should be, like, you know, close enough that he can just immediately join. I bet that some of his children probably have hunter traits as well. So let's see. I don't know if we're there yet, though. Let, let me have a look at where we are. Uh, our travel, we are, like, basically on top of him right now. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see. We're basically following the same path, just quicker. So hopefully he gets there in time. I mean, actually, we're, we're doing the hunt next to where his thing is. Which is very funny. Right, wait a second. Oh, the hunt already started? 
Oh, and I'm still waiting on guests. Wonderful. Uh, you. Have you arrived home yet? He has. Perfect. Can I invite you to the hunt? Or no, because you're already here? Or because I'm already here? Yeah, I guess because I'm already here, I can't invite him. Oh, well. Whatever. Doesn't matter. This success chance should get a huge boost once all the hunters arrive, I think. Although, yeah, it's already, um, like, got the hunters in there. But it usually gets a boost once it starts, for some reason. Maybe there's some buff that when it gets applied right as it starts. Like, maybe there's a... Maybe Master of the Hunt gets applied when it starts or something. I don't know. Let's see. 24 days, one guest remains. It starts. So we say the beast will be mine. Ah, uh, it's probably the difficulty which does it or something like that. Because it waited till we chose something. Although you do have Master of the Hunt aptitude. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it was that. Not sure. Anyway, we're at 60%. Let's see if we can succeed this time. Looking for anything that increases our success chance. Keep up appearances, increase success. We're at 62%. Okay. See, this is the one we're looking for. Shared knowledge with X. Apparently that one can raise the success chance. That's what I've been told. No wildflower uh, flowers. Get back on your horse. Right. That's fine. Although it didn't look like it raised it a lot there. Right, we're going to go perilous for a success chance increase to 67%. Looking for any other event which can raise it. Anything that can raise it just a little higher would be great. Uh, let's do this one. We're going to go treacherous game. We're going to try and find it. Let me just double check that that's not the... Uh... Hmm. Just seeing... Yeah, let's go with this one. We got a decrease. Oh, no. We had 88% chance of that giving us an increase of some type. and We didn't get it. Wait, I get to kill it now? It will complete your slay beast intent? I think we did it. I will shoot it. That's how you do it. Did we just succeed at the legendary hunt? I think we did. So I can become the hide I can become the owner of the hide of the white wolf of gallery, which gives me a ton of stuff. Uh, we get Dangerous Beast Slain for 10 years, which gets popular opinion. We get the Venator uh, nickname. We gain experience. We get Hunted Mystical Animal for 20 years. So we get a ton of bonuses from that too. 40 stress loss. Even more because I'm a hunter. Even I get some experience if I didn't already have any. Everyone gets some glory for all the knights. I give it to my king, as if I, uh, this king if I wanted to. Or I could say its skull would make a fine crown. Gets me 34 uh, dread. You know what? His skull will make a fine crown. Fantastic. So we're getting a ton of dread off that. So our dread just flew uh, right up there. We have now completed a legendary hunt. Successfully. Well done us. I, I say, well done us. Let's see what the most recent artifact is. I'm assuming that we don't have any from it, but let me just have a look. Acquisition date. Oh no, we do. St we still get the hide. Oh, I thought it said. Anyway, doesn't matter. Vassal limit. Vassal limit. Uh, yeah, is this also vassal limit? It is. Oh, in which case we can't even equip it. Uh, am I at my vassal limit? Uh, I could lose ten. I can actually lose 10 and be happy with it. Okay, in which case... Swap this one, which gives me 10. Uh, acquisition date. Why can I not equip it? Uh, I thought that we had the height of the White Wolf of... Gary, is that not something that goes into this slot? Wait, what slot does it go into then? Unless I really didn't get it, which is kind of what I thought was happening. No, there you go. The hide of the white wolf. It's, in dust. It, it's a large ornament. Are these small ornaments? I think these are, right? 
Yes. Okay. So this actually replaces one of these. Oh, interesting. Um, let's replace the English war banner. I know it gives us a knight, but let's replace it. There we go. That's what we're working with now. Uh, it doesn't really give us it too much. I suppose it gives us quite a lot of vassal tax contribution now that I think about it. But, you know, cool. We have successfully done that. And as such, we have no goals. We are completely goalless right now, which is interesting. Hmm. Don't really know what to do here. I kind of thought we were going to go right down to the wire of this one, but uh, we didn't. So I don't know what to do. That's okay. Gained a nemesis. Why did, ever since I became the head of whatever, I guess I'll just kill you. That's fine, right. Who's in? Maybe my goal should be to get rid of this feud. <laughs> Maybe that would, that would be uh, good. Right. I don't, wait, why am I sending him a gift? I just need to do a bribe. I don't need to send a gift first. There we go, bribe. Um. Right, and then bribe. Uh, see here have we got anyone else we got you as well bribe right let's see who's in everyone in hey we've arrived back wonderful everyone is accepting the invitation to the uh, murder fantastic right now at 95 percent and we have i just Wanted to come here to have a look at our nickname here. 85 years old. We're only feeling fine right now. We're not feeling, you know, as cool as we were. And we're not as chill. But we are pretty good. You want us to bury the hatchet? Wait, is this the person who just became our nemesis? Yeah, let us. Wait, but... Oh, we're still nemesis, but we're no longer... Rivals? Maybe? Wait, are we still rivals? No... Okay, I don't know what that did. Anyway. I take Ambrose down to the dungeons where I start regaling with terrible things I've done to people who've crossed me. I'm sure you've heard about how my holy war against Rakumar Umoko Umoka ended in victory, I tell him with relish. That was just the beginning. I chuckle as Ambrose's eyes go wide with fear. So I can threaten him or tell everyone about me. Tell everyone. My dread has gone through the roof. We are insanely um, dreadful. And I think that what I'm going to do now is I'm going to end the episode. So, uh, we have five years left. And here are my pitches. If you, anyone has a suggestion for what we can do towards the end of the game, let me know. If not, then my pitch is next episode, we're going to try and kill these people. Uh, but while we wait for the murder schemes to go on, basically, I think that we just do a lot of time skips and maybe try and work towards the end of the series? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I, I don't really have anything else I think I want to do in the time remaining. So, yeah. We'll try and do that, I think. So, next episode of the episode after, it looks like that might be the final episode. So, we'll have to see. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.